it's important to always keep yourself hydrated so that just a slight little water break okay um, all right so with that being said this next question is asking what is the oxidation state of each element in COH2? State of each element in COH2. So, for this one, unfortunately, these are parts you have to memorize. Not for the carbon, luckily, but for the oxygen and hydrogens, okay? Oxygens typically in every scenario, okay, will have an oxidation state. So these are the two rules you really have to keep to heart. State of oops, oxygen oxidation state. There we go. State, okay, typically likes to be minus two. Hydrogen oxidation state. Okay, it's gonna be typically plus one. Okay, the only exception for where hydrogen is uh, minus. Hmm. I know there's an example of where hydrogen is a minus, but let's start with the oxygen one. So the only where oxygen is not minus two. Okay, it'll be minus one. Is when we have H two O two. Okay. In this case specifically, oxygen is minus one and hydrogen is still plus one. Okay. Now for the hydrogen, I do believe it's like um, like NaH or something like that. When it's bonded with um, certain types of metals, the hydrogen then likes to be sorry about that. The hydrogen there likes to be minus one while the metal will be plus one. Specifically, I do believe it's from like uh, either the first rule. So the non-transition metals, I think that's where the rule applies to. That's where the hydrogen will then serve as the negative. Okay, these are the exceptions here. Okay, but typically it's going to be minus two plus one. Okay, so with that being said, when you look at this, we don't have any metals here. So that's good. And we have COH2. We do not have that peroxide. You need specifically that peroxide type of combination for that rule to apply. So with all that being said, we have minus two, minus two because only one of them. Hydrogen, okay, is gonna be plus one, okay, but there's two of them. And what I like to do is I like to write the total at the top. So plus two. So if we already have a minus two and a plus two there, the oxidation state of that carbon because this is a neutral element, I mean, a neutral compound, it would have to be zero because plus two minus two would be zero. So that means this carbon has an oxidation state of zero. So let's write it out. We have carbon is zero, oxygen is minus two, and hydrogen, okay? Remember referring just to the, um, individual ones is plus plus one okay so like I said this is gonna be the individual that I like to do down here this is just the way I like to do it and this is gonna be the total at the top okay so what you usually do is the individual times a script or whatever it is the subscript and then that's how you get the total at the top all right and this should equal the um, you know either zero if it indicates that the molecule is a net charge of zero or you know whatever ion amount so like if you have like sulfate for example right that's two minus you want to make sure the oxidation state adds up to where you end up with a two minus okay so that being said let's see how we did the important rules they do break down a lot the oxygen is um, just make sure yep is usually minus two, except for peroxide, which is what we have there, where it's minus one. Nitrogen is um, 
typically it can change based on what it's attached to. Um, the sum of the oxidation numbers is equal to the a charge of the ion. So in this case, the charge was zero, and the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus one, except for the explanation of what I did there, where you have hydrogen bonded with like um, metals. Okay. Therefore, we let the oxidation number x is the oxidation number of the carbon atom. We don't know what carbon is. That's typically what you'd see there is that you usually have givens. You have, um, I guess, elements that you do know about, and then you have to kind of fill in the blanks with the elements you don't know about based on the charge of that molecule. So, as it shows here, exactly minus two plus two is equal to zero. So carbon is zero. Oxygen minus two. Hydrogen plus one. So this is correct as well. Let's move on now to question number 12. Okay, so 